Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with FX Market Insight for the 7th of November. All right, as we come through the uh, North American session there, there's you know, not a lot on the cards at the moment. The US midterm elections have pretty much most of the major currency pairs on hold. Euro just trading sideways, a little bit of a, a blimp there, just above 114.30. Uh, Sterling continues to sort of slowly climb to the top side as a Brexit deal um, once again comes up as being almost done. Um, that Northern Ireland hard border issue seems to be getting resolved. The Aussie just cruised uh, through yesterday's RBA uh, rate decision and statement. Nothing to see there, as did uh, the Kiwi. A little bit of pressure on the top side, a bit of US dollar weakness, but nothing significant. Dollar yen just sort of just bouncing around that um, the cloud and the trend line there as well. Dollar Swiss, as you'd expect, being pretty neutral, pretty much on hold. And uh, dollar CAD slowly climbing as oil gets back down to 62 bucks a barrel. And the dollar index, well, not doing a hell of a lot, pretty much sideways, as you'd expect running into this um, into these US midterms. So looking at the, um, on the bigger picture here, just having a look, as you can see where that uh, US dollar index is. Um, dollar one, I think a lot of people have been bitten by this uh, from that move from 6.98 down to 6.85. Now sort of sitting around 6.92. I'm still expecting, it looks like there's a bit of a top here around 6.93. So if we get above there, I wouldn't be surprised to see it back at 6.98 pretty quickly. Equity markets in the US coming into the afternoon session. Um, still, you know, a little bit in the, uh, in the, I was going to say in the black, but in the green on my screens. So a little bit of positive, but pretty much flat. And this is where we uh, come into today's trading activity. So if you're looking for um, trading opportunities, let me just come back to the top of the MyFX Trading Hub. So really dominating uh, the headlines at the moment, uh, Brexit and uh, the US midterm elections. That is, uh, they're sort of like random events that can impact the market and they are very active. So that's why I've got uh, a little bit of cloudy conditions over the trading conditions. Upcoming events, this is where you can see how, where momentum can change and things can liven up. We've got the Kiwi, Kiwi employment number at the start of the Asian session. And then there's nothing really solid until the North American session where the CAD IV PMI numbers are coming out. So two numbers to focus on. That's where the volatility or the momentum could change. And then you bring that down to the major currency pairs. Okay, we've got some um, Kiwi data. All right, well, it's trading sideways at the moment, giving us no real indication of what's going on. And dollar CAD also sideways. So these, um, uh, these releases, you know, don't really have much to work with. There may be a short-term momentum change if there's significant variance in those numbers. But outside of that, we are still waiting for um, some results to come through from uh, the midterm elections, which, are, which we're on today. And that's pretty much it, guys. There's nothing more to chase. You can't chase the market. You can't push it, uh, you know, more than it will go itself. If you have a look at the major news out there at the moment, it, uh, a lot of it does revolve around the US midterm elections. Um, they're just cautious around the, the outcome there. Brexit, obviously, the same old stuff. Uh, hitting, impacting um, uh, sterling. Then you're starting to get into some... They're just trying to fill the pages up here with whatever you whatever they can get their hands on. So not, not a lot to go with at the moment. The currencies are pretty, um, pretty quiet, uh, as you'd expect, with no major releases and with the US uh, midterms. We're waiting for some sort of act activity on the US dollar, and that could really kick things into play. But we do have uh, a number of releases coming out uh, later in the week. It's only Wednesday, so plenty of time to go yet. All right, guys, that's it for me. Uh, not a lot to rave about at the moment. Just keep an eye on the Kiwi and the, uh, the CAD as we go through that North American session. All right, guys, we'll see you in the live trade zone. Cheerio.